Four, four, three, two, one, and zero. Cut six, opt in, go Coming to three next. Nine, eight, seven. Three mixed to lose. Six. Hello, welcome back. This is Breakfast with Bill Turnbull and Louise Vinci. This morning, more than three million. My name's Rachel Isbar. I'm an NHS consultant in paediatric public health medicine. I'm currently placed at BBC Breakfast as a British Science Association media fellow. And what that means is I'm basically involved in everything that goes on with BBC Breakfast, uh, which has been very interesting for me. So everything from trying to spot stories, then pitching them, doing some research, finding a guest for it to, to appear on the show the following morning. Well, our Media Fellowship Scheme is one of the longest running and I think the best tools for promoting science in the media in the UK. Um, what we do is we take about a dozen media fellows every year and these are people who are scientists, engineers, clinicians and we put them in some of the UK's leading media organisations and we try and promote better interactions between those scientists and the journalists. It obviously improves our journalism when we've got scientists that we can talk to and, and can, can give us a little bit more depth of knowledge into subjects. But also I think if people come here they'll understand that you know, the way to deliver it in an informative and interesting way, but not to use language that we don't, you know, is not commonly used. Rachel's been really useful in our morning meetings a number of times, even in the, sh the short time she's been with us, that uh, journalists have turned down the table and said, Rachel, what do you think? Uh, has made a real difference. We've had some really unbelievably fantastic individuals come through. For instance, we've got Hannah Devlin uh, at The Guardian. There are so many scientists who've done this scheme and then gone back with a different picture of the media. So I think it's had a big impact on those who've done it. For some people, like myself, who ended up going into the media, um, but far more, I think, have gone back into science and taken something positive with them from it. I'm Lindsay Brook, I'm one of the Media Relations Managers at the University of Nottingham. Our Media Fellow was Phil Oldfield and he's in our Department of Architecture and he went to The Guardian. It's been overall fantastic to be able to work somewhere like The Guardian. From a personal point of view I've gained a really fascinating insight into how The Guardian works. I've gained the kind of confidence to interrogate my own writing and really the confidence to pitch my ideas rather than it coming from the media organisation, coming from me going to them saying look I've got a good idea, how about this for an article uh, and to get the confidence to do that. While you put in quite a lot of hard work at the start on both sides, getting the person familiar with the job, um, you really start to capitalise on that at the end and um, for me I've found that the fellows really tend to flourish towards the end of the fellowship and start generating all these articles and really taking the pressure off. <laughs> well, I absolutely love the Media Fellowship Scheme. I always have. I think it's a genius idea. I think it's made a real impact on the way scientists understand the realities of the newsroom. I think media fellowships make a huge difference to the journalists in the organisations because um, they really get an intense introduction to the life of a research scientist. The fact that they'll never give yes no answers, the fact that they'll always be looking for the evidence and making sure that things are accurate makes a difference to the journalists but more importantly for me it makes a difference to the lab and the colleagues that that scientist goes back into afterwards. I remember coming back into the tea room after I'd finished my media fellowship and I remember the cynicism of the scientists around me. Exposing the rest of the university to people who've had those experiences, that's very, very useful. And universities need to be constantly evolving and they're only going to get that if they're getting new sources of information and new ideas. From me personally, I mean, I've seen a whole other world that I knew existed but I never knew what went on in it and I think it's taught me to communicate sometimes really quite dry research uh, in a way that makes it accessible. I think if anyone's thinking of taking a media fellow I'd say do it. It's really easy, you know our experience is of someone who's just arrived, got stuck in and made an immediate contribution to what we do. If the Media Fellowship Scheme didn't exist, I would really like to think that the Science Media Centre would be clever enough to have come up with it. it. It's such a good idea and it makes such a difference. Well, we're always looking for more and more people to get involved in the scheme, again, particularly institutions that are looking to host a Media Fellow and people who are looking to fund or supply Media Fellows. Um, so if, if you want to get involved, if you think the scheme is worth supporting, just drop us a line, look at our website, really keen to hear from you.